Hi everyone, I'm Coach Jen from Code Speak Labs and this is, and today we are going to make a, a rainbow heart, a rainbow heart using 8-bit art. 8-bit art is the cool art you often see in video games where you can actually see the pixels of color, those little squares with awesome color. Um, so all I'm going to use is a Chromebook. And what are you going to use, Alexander? Thank you. So any internet connected device will work great. So let's get started. We're now on the Make 8-Bit Art website. You'll notice there's a lot of gray and white squares. All we're going to do is click on the squares to make them turn color. So my brush size is 15. If you're younger and you want Big squares, you can go ahead and change this number. So Alexander is working with brush size 33. Um, I'll go ahead and stick to 15. And I'm on a Chromebook. So I'm just going to click on each square. If you're on an iPad, you can go ahead and just tap on each one. And just like I draw, um, a regular heart on paper. I'm going to go ahead and start from the middle top and then I'm just going to draw out all the way to the bottom. So I drew two, one, three, one, one, four. You don't have to do yours exactly like mine. It's really up to you. It's your own artistic creation. So whatever you think looks good is great. I'm going to make sure the top part of my heart and the bottom part of my heart are matched up. I'm going to make my heart symmetrical, which means the same on both sides. Um, if you don't, that's totally fine too. And if you ever make a mistake, you can always click undo. And then if you change your mind again, you want to do um, move it back, just click redo. Okay, now I'm going to go back at the top and continue. And actually using this 8-bit art tool, in some ways it's even easier to be precise compared to when you're just drawing freehand because you can really evenly look at each of the squares of color that you're filling in. So now that I have my outline, I'm going to fill it with color. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. If you're raising ahead, you can move faster than me. So you'll notice these are all the colors you have to choose from. I'm going to click on red. I'm going to fill in two rows of each color. And you'll notice instead of individually clicking, I can go ahead and drag and click all the way through. Boop. 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 And if I miss one, I'm just go and click that. I'm going to do the full rainbow here. I'm going to do Roy G. Biv, so red, orange, yellow, at the G, green, make the blue, now, I feel like the indigo violet is a little, not so necessary, but I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more color at the bottom. Now I'm going to change to white. So at the top, um, you can see there's a white option here. I'm going to make just a special little detail. It's a little shine in the corner with three white circles. So I'm all done with my heart. You can take more time if you want. Now I'm going to click Import Save. I'm going to move this box over a little bit. I'm going to take a selection. I'm going to highlight the heart that I want. I'm going to let go and bam, you saved your art. So now this is saved to my computer. So Alexander, can you sew everyone your rainbow heart? Amazing job. I like how you added lots of other parts and colors to it too. So now that we're all done, it's time to cue the virtual applause.
If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, um, or you can take an online live class with us at codespeedlabs.com slash register. Thank you.